we got some big things to talk about for Molenstock and HLBZ. Guys, welcome back to the channel. This is gonna be my second video today and it's very important. That's why I needed to make you a second one. We gotta talk about Molen and what's going on. We are under 20 cents right now. HLBZ is almost at 15 cents right now. But the main thing I wanna talk about is Molen and I wanna show you some news that came out today and what I'm thinking is gonna happen next. Before we get started, don't forget to like this video. Truly appreciate that. Think about subscribing. If you're brand new to the channel, I make Molen content every single day. I'm starting to make a little bit of HLBZ content as well. Today, I'm gonna to show you the charts. I'm gonna show you the news. Let's get right into it. Don't forget to grab your coffee. You definitely need coffee for this one. Here's mine. First thing we need to look at is NASDAQ approves a 180 day extension for Molen Automotive to meet the minimum $1 bid price. Now we've been trying to get over a dollar for months now. We thought we were gonna get there on runs before. Molen drops good news, we tend to run. Molen's been dropping good news, but they've also been diluting. So our stock price has actually been going down. But what's really important is what David said in this article about getting over a dollar. Check this out. So David said, consistent with my message to our shareholders, we will use our best efforts to regain compliance to meet NASDAQ's requirement for $1 minimum bid price, said David Mickery, CEO and chairman of Mullen Automotive. Now with the words he decided to use, I don't know if I'm completely bullish on David and his seriousness of getting us over a dollar. He said, we will use our best efforts to regain compliance. Now, I guess he couldn't really say anything else, but what do you guys think? Do you think that's a strong statement from the CEO of Mullen Company? Do you think we could get over a dollar or do you think we might get close to a dollar and we might end up doing a reverse stock split still in September? You can see right here, they have till September 5th of 2023 to get to a dollar or a reverse stock split will happen. I've always said I'm not against a reverse stock split. I don't think it's necessarily a horrible thing. I don't think it's gonna kill the company or anything like that. I still look at the fundamentals of Mullen and what they're doing, the partnerships, the deals, and that's how I'm basing my decisions on investing in this company or not. Before I show you the charts, let's check this out. HLBZ meets NASDAQ market value of listed securities requirement. So apparently they've reached the requirement to stay on the NASDAQ, which is really good news. And that's why they ran over 10% already today. So below it says, we are pleased to have regained compliance with NASDAQ's market value of listed securities requirements, said Salvatore Pelea, CEO of Hellbiz. This is an important step for the company and we will continue to work hard. So why the heck is Molin dropping? Well, dilution, right? So again, if you're part of the Patreon, I just updated you guys on the weekly time frame. And also a video that I made February 20th, so go check that out again, where I think Molin could go potentially to the downside. But again, I'm still bullish on the company because of what they're doing. They've dropped three pieces of solid news the last three days. We've come down though, unfortunately, but again, the company needs money to start producing vehicles, right? So that's why I think what's happening is happening. So I haven't sold any of my shares right now. I'm just holding. I will add more if we get to certain price targets that I have stated before, but for right now, I'm just holding. Let's look at the charts. I know today's not the best day ever, and after yesterday falling 9% or down over 4% right now, we're actually at 20 cents as I'm looking at the charts right now. But the one thing I wanna show you guys is the positive divergence that I'm seeing right here. So you can see on the stock price, we've come down lower, right? We made a new lower low on this downtrend. But on the RSI, we made a new higher low, okay? So this is a very bullish indicator. Now, I'm not saying it's going to turn around right now. But if you look at all time frames, we're very oversold right now. So we could see an initial run here soon. I'm not thinking that Mullen is just going to be in an uptrend moving forward because dilution is still going to be happening. We know this. Um, the news today about it getting extended and no reverse stock split is actually very bullish in my point of view because um, we do have more time now. So whatever happens from now till September, I don't think we'll be hanging around 20 cents. I do think we'll be higher as the days and the weeks go on because of what the charts are telling us and with what the new partnerships and the new deals Mullen has gotten, it's very positive right now. It's dilution, it's shorts, it's a lot of fear in the market. I'm not concerned in the long run for Molin Company. Remember, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just telling you what I'm doing, giving you my own opinion. 
let's look at HLBZ. So HLBZ um, is looking pretty solid in my opinion. The RSI right now is at 45. Stochastic did come down, but we just curled up for potentially another run. My price target is still about 21 cents. So from where we are right now, that's about a 45% move to the upside. Now I'm not buying anymore right now. I already have a bag that I'm holding for HLBZ. But the good news is we did make a higher low on the stock price from the old low. The RSI is making higher lows. We're looking pretty good right now. CEO is very vocal, wants to have a successful company. It's not bad. This is also truck week. So, so much is happening right now. You gotta be convicted in what you invest in. I'm still very bullish on Mullen Company. The stock price just isn't looking good right now, but I'm not too concerned because I do think more long-term. I'm thinking more for the next year of 2023, everything they're gonna accomplish, whatever they've already accomplished the last six months, it's looking good to me. But let me know what you guys think. Feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if, you if you're not subscribed yet. See you on the next one.